My name is Carlos J. Malade, and this is the Restorative Power Program. When it comes to restorative power, it is the ability to live in a way that allows you to identify and understand yourself to the root. And this is something that we all need from youth all the way to adulthood. My mission with my business Translating Success and the Restorative Power Curriculum is so that I can influence change. And I want to be able to help people understand how to align their lives in all aspects of their life. And the way to do that is to be able to learn how to deal with conflict as it arises, learn how to build relationships that could be lifelong, and also be able to have a way to understand yourself and have those conversations with yourself more often. Now, this is not something that I just read in a book or went to conferences to learn about. I actually was a restorative justice coordinator on a campus for several years. And while I was on the campus, I worked with staff and students alike to build relationships and understand conflict better and be able to change the culture from punitive to restorative. Now, on January 10th, 2019, my father committed suicide and that changed everything for me. So it not only became a practice that I did within campuses, but it also became something that changed my life and it's still saving my life. It became a lifestyle practice for me. And I started using it as a husband, as a father, as a sibling, as a son to my mother. And it became something that helped me tremendously. I was able to build relationships and deal with conflict more often and easier than I did beforehand. Now, the reason why this work is more than just something to speak about, something to teach, is because I saw the effects of it and what it could have done for my father if he had had those skills or that mentorship with those skills a lot sooner in his life. My father was not able to deal with conflict properly. He was not able to deal with relationships the best way that he could. And he developed a lot of destructive type of habits that didn't allow him to live comfortably. And I wanna be able to let people know that there is a way to get through that. Not only by talking, but also dealing with conflict in ways that can allow you to build relationships better. And my restorative power curriculum does that on a daily basis. I used to go to conferences constantly and feel great about going into circle, learning about circle, but not knowing how to have something tangible to bring back to the classroom and do it on a daily basis. This is the gap that I seen while I was doing the work. So when I had that in mind, when I was building my curriculum and I wanted to have something that I could give to teachers and administrators and they can use on a daily basis with lesson plans, with assessments, with projects that can be measurable and something that you can have to move on and build a culture. I gave my all into this curriculum and I want to give it out to you and change lives for the better. It is not just the academic part, is also the social emotional learning piece and this is mine for you and for everybody in need so i hope to hear from you soon and I look forward to talking to you thank you um over the summer we had a pd session with the teachers staff administration and um it was actually to help us with restorative practices because we're the ones who deal with the students on a daily basis. And in order for us to help them, we have to be able to help ourselves. So in looking internally, it helped us to do the external work that we needed to do. And uh, a lot of us didn't really realize that we needed that. It helped us to to understand where many of our students are coming from. What stood out to me in these sessions was the willingness of the teachers to be vulnerable. This is largely due to the fact that Carlos presented himself as a member of the community before uh, being a person who was leading a PD or a training or anything. He related to the audience. Once everyone realized he was a New Yorker just like them, who had the same trains as them, and had foregone with many of the same experiences as the teachers, uh, they kind of let their guard down and it made for a more welcoming atmosphere. I wanted to build uh, the capacity of, of my teachers, and one way of doing that is for them to look at themselves and see how they, how their biases affect the classroom, the classroom management, how they interact with students, how students interact with them, regardless of race, regardless
folks of color. We actually looked at, um, you know, the, the school to prison pipeline, you know, the discipline and how if kids are being suspended, multiple suspensions, these are young people that end up incarcerated, and then it just perpetuates that same, that same cycle. And restorative practice actually tries to diminish that. It says, okay, you made a mistake. How do we help you move forward?